Another tragedy. A mass shooting at an elementary school shocked the country. I can't just stand around and do nothing. Maybe I could program a gun detection for an early warning system. What you up to, Jake? I'm testing out a gun detection model. I'm sick of this gun violence, especially in schools. Yeah, I saw the news. It's an absolute tragedy. How's your model looking? As you can see, it's working really well. That's great, but how accurate is it? I just said it works well. Okay, what is your mean average precision, or MAP? Mean average? What is that? Mean average precision is a metric used to evaluate object detection models. Without this, how will you objectively know how well your model performs? Ritz, we don't really need to do that. Sounds like a lot of work. Oh really? Then let's put your system to the test, shall we? That, my friend, is a false positive. Okay, fine. Let's hear about this mean average precision. How do I calculate this value? I thought you'd never ask. There are four concepts that you need to understand first, which are confusion matrix, intersection over union or IOU, recall, and precision. Your model predicted that the banana was a gun, when in actual truth, it was a banana, which I mentioned earlier is a false positive. So if we predict a gun when there actually is a gun, that is a true positive, right? Exactly. In the bottom quadrant, a false negative is when the model predicted that there was no gun, but in fact, there was actually a gun. This is a dangerous one. And finally, the last one, true negative. Your model predicted that there is no gun when there is no gun, which is also what we want. This puts things into perspective, but how does the confusion help us calculate the map? Well, before we can get there, if you were doing pure image classification, it would be simple to determine if an entire image contains a gun or not. But now we are dealing with object detection which has a location element to it. This is where intersection over union or IOU comes into play. Take Fluffy over here. The ideal detection model prediction will fit the dog perfectly to the actual object. But as we know that AI predictions are not perfect and thus we need to define how close the predicted box is to the ground truth. So would we see how the prediction overlaps with the actual object boundaries? Yes, but we need to calculate the IOU as area of overlap divided by the combined area. So if IOU threshold is equal to 0.5, an IOU predicted of 0.3 would result in a false positive and an IOU of 0.7 would result in a true positive. So a perfect overlap gives an IOU of 100%, whereas a prediction that does not overlap the ground truth is 0%. Now we can decide what percentage of overlap is acceptable as a true positive. Some people use an IOU of 50%, but it all depends on how important the location of your object is to you. But this would mean we could have different results for different IOUs. Exactly, I'll explain this later on, but for now, let's assume that 50% is adequate for your application. Now we can calculate precision and recall, which are two commonly used metrics to judge the performance of a given model. Precision measures how accurate are your predictions, for example, the percentage of your predictions which are correct, and recall measures how good you find all of the positives. So precision equals true positive over true positive plus false positive, whereas recall equals true positive over the combination of false negative and true positive. So now we just need to repeat this precision recall calculation for various IOU thresholds and plot a graph to give us the precision recall curve. We can now compare the trade-off between having high precision and a high recall. The lower the threshold IOU, the higher the recall but also the lower the precision. So now we can calculate average precision, AP, as a way to summarize the precision recall curve into a single value representing the average of all precisions. What is the difference between average precision, AP, and mean average precision, MAP? Great question. They are essentially the same thing in your case. 
but if you have multiple classes, then it's the mean of the average position for all of those classes. Thanks, Ritz. It seems like I got some work to do. I want to have the metrics to show that this will work. So remember, kids, guns are dangerous. Learn AI instead and save the world. Thank you.